Good morning everyone and welcome to the latest installment of the Vicon Online University series. Today we will continue to talk about Polygon 4 and we will look at data averaging and creating templates. So the objectives for today's session are we're going to look at creating average data, how we can access this average data in other reports, uh, then we're going to look at creating a Polygon report template, and then how we might actually access this Polygon report template in the future. So a lot of what we're going to do today is actually going to be in, in Polygon. So if I navigate to Polygon right now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, create a new report. So I'll click on that session and uh, I'll, I'll open up a new report. For now, I'm not going to base that off of a template, so I'll go ahead and select No. And I'm going to populate my data bar with some trials. So um, I'll go ahead and select trials 1 to 5. Next, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to create an average data node. So what I'll do is I'll come into Data up here at the top, and then I'll select All Trial Average. And the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to create a name uh, for your average node. And uh, since I'm not very creative, I will just call this average node average. Next, you will select the trials that you want to average. And for, for, this, uh, for this example, I'm going to take trials 1 through 4. And then I'm going to bring them over to the currently selected average over here. Um, Things that I can specify are some of the model outputs that I want and whether or not I want to average data across contexts and that, that will be uh, combining left and right side and whether or not I want to use an average of the nominated cycles and in which case I do um, because I, I have identified those um, with my model. Uh, next you can also select how many sa sample points you want to calculate and in this case it will, it will be 51. So go ahead and click OK, and we can see that our average node um, has populated into our data bar. And we can see as well that it has created model outputs um, similar to these trials up here. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, some knee angles uh, in a graph. So what we'll do is we'll take the left knee angle, I'll right click, and I'll just take the flexion extension angle. We can see here, if I hover over the line, it will give me uh, information about the actual average itself. Uh, and you can see the, the average line with the standard uh, deviation marked in this uh, gray color. So what I can do is I can actually go ahead and save this trial. And I can go ahead and click on this average trial and export this data for future uh, use in another report. Say for example you don't want any of your uh, clients or subjects to know anything about their actual trials but you want to just show them the average data this is quite a useful tool. So I'll go ahead and select export data and we can see here that it comes up with average.pxd so that's the external data um, file type that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and save it in the, in the folder that it specifies and I had one created earlier, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace that. Now if I go into Data Manager and I open up a new report, again I'm not going to base this off a template. I'll select No. I can come into Home over the top and I can import a file. And in this case, uh, if I go back to my templates, and make sure to adjust this uh, the, the file types here to PXD so you can see that my average PXD has now populated into the list. I'll go ahead and open that. And you can see here I've got the same model outputs that I had uh, or average outputs that I had from before and I still have the option to graph those knee angles as I did before as well as we can see here. So I'll go ahead and save that as well. So if we just uh, navigate back to the presentation, we'll just review what we've, what we've done. So we created average data, we opened a report, uh, as we've discussed, we populated our data list with the files we wanted to average. We then 
navigate it to the data tab and then selected the all trial average. We created a name for our average which was average and we selected the trials that we wanted to average, brought them over here and we selected the parameters that we wanted to average and the number of sample points. Uh, the important thing here is that when you're creating your uh, average node that uh, all the trials have to um, all the process trials have to have the same scheme um, so that they will be normalized to those time bar events so um, in this case we have gone for a full gate cycle but in the future you could um, nominate your own uh, cycles so that uh, you can do your, your own custom uh, averages. The uh, average data will show up in gray and then we can actually overlay um, a trial on top of that which I will, I'll show in a second and then we can also look at some gate parameters using the analysis uh, under that average node. So we also looked at saving average data um, so we exported that to the PXD and then we imported that data uh, looking for that uh, PXD file so just make sure to change the, the file type that it looks for. So I'm just going to navigate back to Polygon for a second. So um, what I'll do is I will reopen up that initial report that we created. And one thing that can be quite useful, as, as I mentioned but I haven't shown you yet, is to overlay um, another trial onto this average to see how well it compares. So if I grab the kinematic data, I can go to the angles. I, I chose the left side earlier. I'll right click again and I'll, and I'll select flexion extension. Double click to give me my two graphs and I'll just drag one graph on top of the other. Now now I've got my uh, my knee angles from the, the trial walking five overlaid onto the average of one to four. So in terms of creating a template this can actually be quite a useful graphic if you want your uh, template in the future to be creating these same graphics so that you only need to format uh, your template uh, one time. So. Uh, what I'll do here is I'll add some text and say this is a template um, and then I'll add in a global link for this graph. So Again, not creative, so using the word graph. Right, so I'll save that and then what I'm actually going to want to do is I'm going to want to uh, export this report. So, um, or sorry, uh, what I'm going to want to do is save this report as a template. So we could do that here uh, through Save as Template, or I can go under this menu here and Save as Template here as well. So I'll come to this menu and I'll save this as a template. As soon as I do that, it asks me uh, where I want to save it, and this is this is probably the most important part. So I'm just going to save this as template again. Um, and you want to save this in the folder that uh, it, it shows here because um, there are some rewrite privileges in Windows 7 that may actually corrupt your template and give you um, or deny you access to some of these graphs or global links that you have created. So keep it in the, the folder that it, uh, it specifies for you. So I've got my template here and I'll go ahead and save it. As soon as I do that, it will ask me to select placeholders. So these are going to be the files that you will populate in the future using this template. And in this case, I will use all of them. So I want, um, again, I want the first four to be averaged, and that's what will give me in this average PXD. Um, and then the fifth uh, trial to be overlaid on top of uh, that average. Alternatively, if we had not selected this average, it would still populate uh, in future reports, but it will keep the same average as calculated for 1 to 4. So this can be quite useful if you have um, average data that you want to keep, but you want to keep overlaying new uh, subjects on top of that. So if you deselect this, it'll create the same average every single time. If I click on uh, an individual uh, file, I can also change its name, but I'm not going to do that in this case. So I've got all my placeholders selected. I'll go ahead and select OK. Now going back into my data manager, if I create another new report, we'll call that report 9, I'll double click. This time I am going to base that report off a template, I'll say yes, I'll look for that template called template, select, 
And now we can see that the list is populated, but there's no trials assigned to each file or no average calculated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start populating that list again by double clicking and I can assign each uh, each trial to uh, a placeholder. So go ahead and apply 6 to 1, do 7 to 2, 8 to 3, 9 to 4, and 10 to 5. So now if I actually click this graph, it's plotted a new average data plus a new line uh, overlaid on top. So if I actually want to just double check, I can see that the data origin has changed to walking 10 as I'd expected. And then if I go into data and I look at my all trial average, we can see that now it's average trials 6 through 9 instead of 1 through 4 uh, in, the, in the previous report. So if I just go back to the presentation just to uh, review, um, our report was saved as a template using uh, uh, this button in the Home tab, so Save as Template, and this allowed us to generate similar style reports without having to start over. So you're getting the same formatting to uh, you can then distribute to all of your uh, subjects. Uh, we saved that to the specific folder, and we made sure to keep it that folder so that we wouldn't uh, corrupt uh, that template file. Uh, we set each node that we wanted to as a placeholder for the new trials, and the placeholders needed to be checked. Those placeholders could also be renamed in this uh, in this box here, but we left them as the same. Uh, then we opened up a new report, but this time we specified yes when we would like to base it on, on a polygon template instead of no, as we had previously been doing. Double-clicking on the trial will allow us to assign it to a specific placeholder, and you can navigate. So you could choose 7 first and then assign that to 2, so you don't have to necessarily do it in order in case you misclick. So just to review, we created average data. We looked at how we created that node, how we could create graphs uh, from that node, and then how we could actually save that data for, for use in, in other reports. Um, so we just made sure to access that, that PXD uh, data when uh, trying to bring that in uh, to other reports. And then what we could do is we could actually create a report from a report template, sorry, from either of these um, either of these reports. And we could specify uh, global links, we could assign the placeholders, and also the file the importance of the file location for that template. We then looked at how we could uh, allocate the placeholders when we were accessing, accessing a new report template, and this will allow us to keep the same formatting uh, for future reports.